Well, the Big 12 Conference got a whole lot better and a whole lot richer today because of Dan Beebe. Ten months ago, you might recall, it appeared the league was going to be blown up. It was out of here. But the commissioner who kept it together by pulling off some 11th hour magic right here in KC down on the plaza. Anyhow, BB put his neck on the line when he promised a big payday down the road for those who would stick together. Ten of them did. Nebraska and Colorado chose to bail out. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise for the remaining teams. Today, the Big 12 announcing a mammoth, I mean mammoth, 13-year television deal with Fox Sports Media. It's believed to be worth $90 million a year. The simple math here, folks, each of the 10 schools in the conference will receive $9 million a year. They're currently getting $1.6 million. The new contract doesn't kick in until next year. This new package sends a message to ESPN and ABC that they now have some competition. ESPN and ABC have had a stranglehold on the college football TV rights, but not anymore. And I do not, do not see a negative in this entire deal. Every game in the conference will be televised. That is huge. Fox FX gets into about 100 million homes, so the cable deal will have plenty of eyeballs for its weekly national game to be televised coast to coast. Maybe we should all bow down to the Texas Longhorns. And I understand that's hard for some of us to do, but they are the ones who made all of this possible. At the same time, I cannot pass up the opportunity to remind you that it was Nebraska and Colorado who were the big chickens, the people who jumped in the foxhole back in June when the going got tough. The Huskers and Buffaloes didn't have the guts to stand up and dodge the bullets. They took the easy way out, and good riddance because of it, this conference is so much stronger. It is so much better financially. As for Nebraska and Colorado, out of sight, out of mind. That's Jack Smack.